I guess it's not that that bad. All these tapes you're seeing that are pulled out, these are ones that I've yet to watch. Or it's been so long that I just kind of forget what they're about. So we're going to go through these real fast. We got Altered States. We got Mutante or The Mutant, also known as Ashion Mutante. We got American Werewolf in Paris. Can't believe I've never seen that. Alchemist. I have seen this, but it's been a long ass time. Alien vs. Terminator, or just Alien Terminator, rather. This is the, the screener copy. And now the screaming starts. Uh, we got Andromeda Strain. Seen that a long time ago. The Awful Dr. Orloff. We got Coffin Joe uh, at Midnight I'll Take Your Soul. We got The Abyss. Which I didn't... The reason that I need to rewatch that is because I put in The Abyss one time, and I was like, okay, I do not like this movie <laughs> for some reason, but... Yeah, uh, The Birds by uh, Alfred Hitchcock, which I've seen not since I was a kid. Uh, we talked about this a little bit in film school. Funny thing about being in film school is about 99% of the people in film school do not care or watch films uh, at Fanshawe College, which is fucking mind-blowing. Uh, we got The Beast, or they watch pure fucking garbage. Uh, we got The Beast Must Die. We got The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Uh, got, I brought up Mario Bava, Mario, Mario Bava one time and no one knew who the fuck I was talking about. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you poor bastards, you poor dumb bastards. Uh, we got the borrower, got black dragons, which I don't even know if is a horror film. It looks more like a neo or like a noir, but, uh, we got brain damage. We got the baby, the beast. The Bloody Beneath, which is an uh, Andy Milligan film, which my uncle says are garbage, but I think I've seen that one. I know I've seen, um, I think the next one I'm going to be showing that's put out by him. Uh, that's it for those. We'll do it in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Uh, we got two copies of The Changeling, which uh, I might have seen, but it's been way too long that I don't remember, but I've heard it's really good. Uh, the Corpse, uh, this has The Corpse Vanishes and The Vampire Bat. Um, got some Argento action here. Actually, this is the second Argento because Crystal Plumage, yep, uh, is Argento. So, Creepers, which looks pretty fucking insane. Really cool cover. Um, we got Carrie 2, The Rage. We got Crawl Space, which I've heard is, uh, uh, pretty out there. We got Circus of Horror, or, yeah, Circus of Horrors. This is the tape that I fucking dropped and broke. Uh, it's broke, like, just the tab came off, so I can put a tab from, like, a fucking quarter tape on there, but it's the principle, and it sounds like something's, maybe not, I don't know, hopefully that tape's okay, if not, shit happens, right? Um, Creepy Crawlers, we got Dominique, The Devil's Commandment by Incredible Strange Filmworks, same as the uh, awful Dr. Orloff, we got Destination Mars, Got my brother using a blender upstairs. Uh, we got Dead Doll, 2003 film, I believe. Early 2000s horror film. We got Deranged, another early 2000s horror film, I believe, right? Um, fuck, I don't know what year this is. We got The Dark Half. Can't believe I've never seen that. Digital Man, I've seen, but it's been way too long. It stars uh, the guy from I Come in Peace. Uh, my uncle said it's not as good because I asked him the other day. I'm like, Have you ever, do you remember Digital Man? He's like, yeah, it's got the guy from I Come in Peace. Not as good, though. Uh, we got Dagon, which is a Stuart Gordon, I believe. Yep. Then we got Demon Seed. We got Dark Waters. We got Elvira's Haunted Hills with Elvira with no nose, apparently. Um, then we got The Entity. Then we got Fail Safe. Yeah, so some of these, if they're not horror, and you're like, yo, why the fuck is that there? It's because I've never seen it, or I'm an asshole. So, right here we got Frightmare, which I remember not being great, but I, for some reason I just want to watch it again. And that cover is just like, <laughs> it looks so fucked. And that reminds me of Motel Hell right there. Um, then we got Faust. Then we got some kind of weird, like... Rob Zombie cutscene looking Lefrizon the Vampire French like porno type thing. Chick's bare ass right there. 
Um, yeah. I should point out me and, uh, me and my girlfriend watched a movie last night called Delirium, uh, which is a 1972 Italian horror film. You should probably check out. <laughs> it's pretty fucking weird. I've uh, we got Graduation Day, which I may or may not have seen. I don't remember, though. We got Ghoulies 2. I've seen the shit out of Ghoulies 1, but never Ghoulies 2. Got The Gate 1 and 2 and Gothic by Vestron. Um, I can't believe, you know, you go to a place like, this is actually Vestron too. So you go to a place like Cinema 1 and they charge fucking like $80 for those new Vestron releases. Totally fucked. Totally rip off. Don't go to Cinema 1 unless you absolutely need to. Like, I don't support them unless I absolutely need something that I don't want to fucking deal with the hassle of ordering or anything like that. But... Other than that, fuck that store. They're way too overpriced. The Hitcher with Rucker Hauer. We got House of the Dead, which I've seen when it came out, but it's been since like 03 that I saw it. Okay, moving along. We got, this is doesn't look like it's pulled out, but it is. Hound of the Baskervilles with Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. And then we got Hour of the Wolf. Which I believe is a German film. Looks like it's got a bunch of German names. Uh, we got The Devil Bat, which I heard is really good. Put up by Sinister Cinema. Like a fucking awesome picture of Lugosi right there. All Holly weird. We got The Hitcher 2. With uh, Pony Boy Curtis. And fucking Buddy from Starship Troopers. Jake Busey, that's his name. Uh, we got Inferno. Oh, gotta be careful here. We got Inferno by Dario Argento. It's the third Argento that I haven't seen. Um, we got Horror Hospital with Michael Go or Gauf or wherever the fuck you say that. We got at Midnight or excuse me, we got I Eat Your Skin, which is used used to be double featured all the time with I Drink Your Blood. And as a matter of fact, I think let's take a look real fast. So if you have the I Drink Your Blood. Um, Grindhouse release, blah, 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 yep, I eat your skin, so you can watch that if you don't want to have to fuck around, you just buy two at once, these Grindhouse releases are the best releases, I think, I think I got, I got I Drink Your Blood, Cannibal Holocaust, and Pieces, they're really expensive, that's the problem, um, so next we got Invisible Ghosts, and we got It's Alive, which I've seen before, but Larry Cohen just passed, so I figure we gotta pay homage. We got I Was a Teenage Werewolf with Michael Landon. Who is Michael Landon again? Isn't that the guy from fucking... Oh, fuck. Michael Landon. Bonanza, Highway to Hell. Wasn't Michael Landon also in Little House on the Prairie? I don't fucking remember. We got The Johnsons, which uh, I've heard is like really good. Which I've yet to watch. I might watch that today, actually. Kind of in the mood for some crazy shit. Uh, Jacob's Ladder, which I, I need to watch again. And uh, A Knife in the Water, which is Roman Polanski, who I love because of uh, Rosemary's Baby, of course. Next, we got Killer Bats. And then we got this weird one that I watched, or I tried to watch years ago. Kusmuch Monster. It's like a German, German action film program. So fuck yeah. Uh, we got Kiss Me Quick with like the most fucking cool poster you'll ever see. Like a chick with like a big beehive. She's got like a things on her nipples and there's like a Frankenstein dude. But like this is, it's <laughs> so fucking weird and random. Like look at this guy back here. He's going ape shit. What does that say? Take it up, take off and take it off on a wild horse space blast. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um... Um, blah, 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 blah. Clyde Barker, Lord of Illusions. We got Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. I'm not going to pull these out anymore unless it's like a cool one. Not saying they're not cool. Uh, Mask of the Red Death. We got Night Flyer, Stephen King. We got a couple episodes of Monsters, which is a, a show. Looks like some sort of anthology show. Uh, we got The Man Who Knew Too Much by Alfred Hitchcock, which I'm not even sure if that's a horror film or not. Looks like Peter Laurie on the cover there. We got Midnight Mass and then Toby Hooper's Night Terrors. And down here we got Nightmares and The Night of the Hunter. This has got a... Uh, this one's... I don't think it's a horror film, but a uh, very famous film where he has the love and hate on his hands. Uh, 
you've probably seen clips of this. Shelly Winters, of course, you'd know from, I believe, Poseidon Adventure. I believe she was the, the large lady, as she put herself. So, not sure if this is a horror film, but I need to watch that as well. I need to watch all these ones I'm showing. Uh, we got The Possession, which has Sam Neill, which I have seen, but it's been a while. Um, is it Sam Neill, for fuck's sakes? Did I get that wrong? Up, up, up. That's definitely Sam Neill. Uh, we got Popcorn. With a cool ass cover. We got Reptile, which is a hammer film, and then the Ripper. And then we got The Raven with uh Jack Nicholson and I believe R Vincent Price. Sinager, Stepfather 3, Soylent Green, which I've seen, it's been years though. Sisters of Death. I should probably go into the exploitation section. Which I do have, and it's starting to get decent. We got Starship, Shadow Zone. Uh, Salem's Lot 2, West Craven's Summer of Fear, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 and 3. Haven't seen either of those. Uh, we got The Swarm. And then we got Tombs of the Blind Dead uh, 1 and 2. But I have seen those. It's just been a very long time. And wait a minute. There should be... Oh, I see where it is. Okay. Um, And then we got Them, Tarantula, and The Tingler. Another copy of Tombs of the Blind Dead. This is the Redemption one, I believe. Threads, which I've heard is awesome. Theater of Death, Christopher Lee. Twilight People. The Undead and Urban Massacre, which is sealed. And then we got The Unholy. Voodoo Tales. Vampire. <laughs> this is a cool cover. Vampire Men of the Lost Planet. Wishmaster Series. Wolf with Jack Nicholson, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what have they done to Solange? Wolfen, random copy of the X-Files, and then Zombie High and Zombie Nightmare. So, those are the horror films that I've not watched from the VHS collection. Quite a few. I've seen most of them, but you get an idea of what, uh, what I need to be watching. So, thanks for watching, and uh, adios.